Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have here with me the new True Project X hockey stick. I was lucky enough to pick one up a little bit earlier than the scheduled release date, which is tomorrow uh, in Canada. Um, so as usual, I'm going to be doing a quick out of the box look and feel of this stick. And then hopefully this weekend, uh, take this out for a spin. I've got a new backyard rink now, uh, more like a shooting pad, but uh, hopefully take this out for a spin on the ice and uh, maybe do a comparison to uh, some of the other sticks that I own. Uh, but just going right into the stick here, uh, some of the, the specs, tech specs, uh, we've got uh, this stick weighing in at a incredibly insanely light weight of 355 grams. This is easily my lightest stick that I own. Um, it is 10 grams lighter than my previous lightest stick, which is the CCM Ribcord Trigger 5 Pro. And the way True has dropped weight significantly is in their carbon layering process. Uh, they have a new carbon layering process called PLD technology, which stands for Precision Laminate Design. It is the way that they layer the carbon as they are making the stick. Uh, which uh, gives them the ability to uh, shave weight to an insanely light 355 grams. Um, into the blade, they have BRT Plus technology, which is the same as the AX9. Uh, that is braided ribs that go from heel to toe uh, and then back down to the heel. So it goes through the middle and then down through the lower part of the blade. Uh, these braided ribs uh, give the blade torsional stiffness, so when you're taking shots, the blade doesn't open up, um, and uh, the blade is square to the puck, which, uh, which improves your accuracy. As well, it uh, increases the durability of the blade, um, as well as increase the puck feel um, in the blade as well, too. Um, they have also used Exenic uh, technology, which is the, uh, the shaft molding process, or the stick molding process. Uh, this, which, uh, which is a true one-piece molding. Uh, some of the other companies out there, uh, their top-end sticks are actually two-piece fused sticks, but uh, true is a one-piece, true one-piece uh, uh, stick. So uh, it adds to the, uh, the lightness as well as gives it a nice consistent feel, puck feel of the shaft. Um, as well in the blade again, uh, the, the finish that they put on this stick is a shark skin grip type finish. Uh, it is a like a sandpaper feel. It's not too rough, but uh, it is rough enough where you can actually feel it when you when you touch it. It's uh, it's a very nice touch that they put on here. I, I really like this uh, like this shark skin. Uh, I'm not sure if this uh, adds to any grip um, for the puck, but uh, it's definitely a uh, a nice uh, feature that they put on the stick. Um, the shaft shape is um, a straight side wall square corner, so it gives you the it gives a boxy feel to it. Uh, for me personally, I really like the boxy shafts, so you know it's really comfortable for me. Um, going into the look of the stick, the graphics are. Pretty good, I think, in my opinion. Uh, looks very, very nice, I think. A nice subtle, but it's got uh, some chrome hits there to uh, give it a little, little bit of a pop. So on the forehand, you have uh, chrome blue on the handle and the hosel part. Um, here it says Project X on the handle and then True in the hosel. And then through the middle of the shaft, you get the True logo. It's nice and subtle. Backhand part, you get the chrome on the hosel and handle parts as well but in the middle of the shaft you get the project x logo and this x section here is uh, the multicolored reflective chrome that uh, the ccm ripcord trigger 5 pro has as well personally for me i really like it um, it's not overtly flashy but it gives it enough pop to uh to let you know what kind of stick it is um the Specs of this stick, uh, I've got an MC curve, which is similar to a P88, and I have uh, gotten a 65 flex. So this is, uh, I've never used a flex this low before. Hopefully it doesn't noodle out on me, but I just wanted to try uh, a low flex like this. I normally use a 70 flex in the Bauer and CCM, but uh, never used one this, uh, this low before, so we'll see. Um, and then 
On the top side of the stick, uh, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, it just says Project X and a little bit of chrome. And then you get the, uh, the darker hosel part. And on the underbelly, you get the traditional stripe um, at the bottom. You get a blue stripe, blue chrome stripe here. It says Project X looks nice as usual. Um, so that's about it for this stick, guys. Um, I'll hopefully, yeah, I'll post another video after getting on the ice with this. I'm excited to try it. Uh, particularly, I'm, I'm excited to uh, compare this against the, uh, the CCM Ripcord Trigger 5 Pro. Uh, they are around the same weight. Um, they are both uh, low kick sticks as well too. So we'll see how, uh, how this fares against the Trigger 5 Pro. Uh, might throw in some, uh, some other stick comparisons as well too. Um, but hopefully the weather will cooperate. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in as always. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.